And because stakeholder memories linger for a very long time, the thing about stakeholders is that each one of them always has a different set of interests. And those interests are not necessarily always aligned with the interests of a brand. So when you do stakeholder mapping, you also do a mapping of interests so that you begin to ask yourself in terms of priorities. You might find one ex stakeholder who is critical in terms of endorsing your position but unwilling to come on board. You might find one that is less critical but very willing, but they don't really bring a lot of value to bear in terms of your brand endorsement. So by mapping, you're able to know where to expend more energy.